Don't forget to leave six inches at the end. Think about something that's about six inches and then I'd better. No, six pennies, no. Oh, but it's coming without me. Okay. 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 Now, the thing with juggling is that your posture is one of the most important things. So you need to listen to me right on your heels, but not leaning back. Make sure your knees are soft. Um, elbows at your side, at your waist. And just remember that where, you, where you're looking is where you throw. So if you start like that, you're going to have to throw them really high because that's where you're looking. So try and remember that there's a little tiny rocks in front of you, to this screen, and that's where you're going to keep most of your juggling. Okay, so we've got two. We're going to start off. <laughs> Thank you. 
and we've done that and we've caught them 20 times. Don't panic, you will have a, um, a list of instructions to take home with you. Don't forget, don't leave the room, don't leave the womb without it. Um, set of instructions on how to jug. You can take it home with you. If you want to get some jug and sacks, just come and see Kate or I up. Cross them over. That's it, perfect. And you probably won't catch them straight away, which is the fun part. <laughs> looking and you'll hit your head on the floor. Okay, sometimes... <laughs> Fabulous, beautiful dropping. Okay, it's okay. Throw them both up. Instead of throwing them across now, throw them up. Up. Okay, so aim to have them crossing over in front of your eyes. No, you want them crossing over in front of your eyes. Okay. That's okay. Grabbing. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but you have to throw them up in the air at the same time to catch them. Okay. See, you've got a naughty hand as well. You see, doing this. Stop it. Don't do it because I know I'm doing it. I'm, I'm showing you. If you're doing that, don't do it. Okay, with all your bed. That way you don't have to keep picking them up off the floor. Lean down a little bit. <laughs> Good. Okay. We're going through this rapidly. I'm sorry, this is a workshop that normally takes an hour and a half to three hours. We're doing it in 10 or 12 minutes. So, no wonder you're having trouble if you're having trouble. And you have to be having trouble at this point. Okay, we'll be doing that. Now, everybody, have a look at me and I'll tell you what we're going to do now. We are... Patsy? Oh, hello. hello. <laughs> okay, we've been doing this. Yes, I am. Someone has to. <laughs> Net. She's got it. Good, you've got it. Now the only reason the hands go out is because they're not at the side. You need to pull them back. Okay. One, two. One, two. So you want them crossing over in front of your eyes. Good. That's okay. That's all right. No problem. Let me see. Okay. Now all that's happening is this hand here is going over and drum. Yeah, it's dominating. It's dominating the whole situation. So you want them to go up, up, and crossing over here. None of them across here. Yeah, good idea. No, yeah. <laughs> okay. In your, you need to say in your mind, you need to see a big red bullseye and see the first one going past and the second one going past and saying up, up. Okay, imagine you've got a big red bullseye, everybody. Imagine there's a big red bullseye in front of your forehead. When you throw the first one, it's just tapping that and the second one tapping that as well. So you're going, so the first one is going in.